What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMode.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Monday, April 18th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AwesomeO. Get yourself $25 on your first deposit. And we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Will Barton, Reggie Bullock, Clay Thompson, Spencer Dinwiddie, and James Harden on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. Time to find out. First up at number five, we've got OG Ananobi. He's small forward, power forward, eligible 6,100. Projected for 34 and a half. The goal is 37 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. I think we're going to have to see increased run potentially and certainly increased usage out of Ananobi. It looks like we're not going to have Scotty Barnes or Gary Trent for this one. I gave Ananobi 36 minutes. If he played more, I wouldn't be surprised. 0.95 fantasy points per minute. 23% usage when Barnes and Trent have been off the floor. 18 points, six boards, two and a half assists, two stocks. He paced down spot against Philly, but it's a three game slate and it's the playoffs. So pace isn't going to be a huge huge deciding factor here playing time is going to be the big one and i think ananobi has a little bit more in him at this 6100 dollars price at number four we're paying up for nikola Jokic, power forward center eligible 11,700. projected for 63 the goal is 64 he's in the optimal lineup 38 percent of the time he's gonna have to play big minutes here if this one is competitive and if denver wants any part of being in this series nikola Jokic playing 38 minutes seems pretty likely 1.65 fantasy points per minute. They are seven point dogs here, so it might be a little tricky. 31% usage for Jokic, 28 and a half points, 15 and a half rebounds, eight assists. What a stat line. Oh yeah, two and a half stocks too. The fact that you can get both he and Embiid at power forward allows you to unlock both of these guys. I think Jokic looks really good. He's not my favorite center. At number three, we go back to Toronto for Fred Van Vliet. Point guard eligible, 7,600. Projected for 42 and a half. The goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 39% of the time. This is another scenario where you're going to have to get the minutes, especially now with two starters out. We're going to be losing 75 minutes or something along those lines. I gave Van Vliet 40. 1.06 fantasy points per minute. 24% usage. 21 real points. Seven assists and five boards. Two and a half stocks. Look, if Toronto wants to stay in this, you're going to get heavy, heavy, heavy minutes out of Van Vliet, out of Siakam, potentially out of Ananobi. We know we know how they handle these games during the regular season. It's not going to be different during the playoffs. If this game is competitive throughout, Fred Van Vliet is playing at least 40 minutes today, and you're going to want him in a fantasy contest. At number two, we go to Dallas for Jalen Brunson. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 7,300. Projected for 41. The goal is 43 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 40% of the time. No Luka again in this one, or at least it doesn't seem like it will be. He is doubtful still. Uh, we saw Brunson get big minutes in game one. We're going to see it again here. I got him in for 38. 1.08 fantasy points per minute, 29% usage. He's just a completely different player when Luka Doncic isn't on the floor. 23.5 points, 6.5 assists, 5.5 rebounds, and a steal. Face down spot against a very, very difficult to break down Utah Jazz team. It's never fun when you got to meet Rudy Gobert at the rim, but Jalen Brunson is just simply not priced for the role that he has on Dallas when Luka Doncic isn't on the floor. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO to get $25 on your first deposit. Your number one contender for today is Joel Embiid, and it is not close. He's power forward, center eligible, 11K, projected for 62. The goal is 61, and he is in the optimal lineup 45% of the time. I gave him 38 minutes, 1.65 fantasy points per minute, 38% usage, 34.5 points, and 15 boards. Good. Oh my gosh, that's just insane. Three and a half assists and two and a half stocks. Uh, Toronto, not really set up for him, whether it's Precious whether it's Kem Birch, whether it's Chris Boucher, they don't really have the bodies to deal with Embiid. And I think that he is just going to go out there once again with no Trent now and no Barnes and just absolutely smash the Toronto Raptors. So at 11K, it's not even difficult to say it. Joel Embiid is your number one contender.
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Monday, April 18th. DraftKings version of this video is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.